Well, once again, welcome. We thank you for those who are watching. Thank you for all of you. It's time for us to make some prayers. We know there are many who are suffering. We know that there are many in their hospital beds. There are many who want God in one way or the other to bless them. Either in their marital life, in their relationships, in their jobs, in their businesses, in their education, in life, in, as a general. So I want us to I want to read something in Hebrews and then I begin to pray. Because many of us do not know that God has given us the past. He has given us the past to approach him whenever we need him. Hebrews 4, 14. It says, Seeing then that we have a great high priest that is passed into the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast our profession. For we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmity, but was in all points tempted like as we are, yet without sin. Yet without sin. Verse 16. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. So verse 14 says something. It ended by saying, hold fast our profession. Your confession. Your confession is what holds your life. Verse 16 tells you you should come boldly to the throne of grace and obtain mercy. At times we don't know that we're supposed to approach the, the God, approach God to, in order to obtain mercy. We should... He said, let us therefore come boldly. When you talk about boldly, what does it mean? It means frankness. It means bluntness. Come bluntly. Whatever be your problem, you come with it and tell God your problem. Because at the end of the day, you will receive his mercy. God does not punish his own. So this evening, I want to, I want to join my faith with yours. I want to join my faith with yours. That whatever be the situation, let the confession of our mouths, let the words that we have spoken of our lives, let it come to pass. I'm not talking about negative confessions. Positive confession. If you have a problem with your health, if you have a problem with your finances, if you have a problem with your job, if you have a problem, even in your marital home, in your businesses, whatever it is, be it education, we can stand firm and agree and we'll begin to see results. He said, whatever two or three are gathered, he is there in the Whatever they shall agree here on earth, it is already established in heaven. So I want you to know that distance is never a barrier and will, ne and will never be a barrier. So I want to pray. I want to pray beginning from the sick ones. Those are the ones who are suffering. Maybe you don't have money for the hospital anymore. Maybe you have suffered even with your money, yet you cannot go ahead. I want to declare this day that whatever form of sickness that is in you, by the authority that is in the word of God, by the authority that has been given to us in the word of God, and by the description of the word of God, which is quick, let the word of God be quick in your situation now. Let the word of God be quick in your, in your situation now in the name of Jesus. Let it be quick and powerful. Let it be sharper. Let it separate from you every negativity from you. Let it restore unto you good health. Let it bring life. Let it make you living in the name of Jesus. 
every form of diabetes in you, I command you to leave. Every form of high blood pressure, I command you to leave. Even common headache, I command you to leave. Malaria, I command you to leave. Let your head be restored. Let it be restored holy. Let your head be restored holy in the name of Jesus. I pray and I declare that every form of oppression that has been booked against your will, against your life, I pray this moment, let the solution come. Let the hand of God touch you. Let the power of God be available. Let the healing power of God that is within you cause a change within you. We come before his throne of grace and we obtain mercy. And we say, Lord Jesus, Son of God, have mercy on me. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on this situation. Let there be a change now. Because you say in your word that you send forth your word and you heal them and deliver them from their destruction. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be delivered in the name of Jesus. Whatever spiritual operations are around you, by the authority of the word of God, let it be quick within your system. Let it be quick in your system. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Be discharged. Be free. Be made whole. In the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for all everyone who is in a desperate relationship. I pray for those whose relationships are falling apart. Their marital lives are not okay. I pray and I declare that let your marriages be healed. Let your relationships be healed. Be healed completely. Be restored completely. Receive life in your relationship. Thank you, Father. I want to pray for all the barren women, all those who think that they are barren, all those who think that they, cannot put, uh, they are not fruitful. I declare over your life that by the authority of the word of God that has made us to understand that no one shall be barren in the land, that from now your womb is open. Your tubes are open. You are able to conceive. Let every negative power in you that has been causing you trouble, that has causing you damages, I plead the mercy of God upon you and I declare that from now, you will come back with testimonies. You will come back with testimony of fruitfulness in your life. Every dry place in your life, every barrenness in you, I command that let it give way. That let it give way. Let fruitfulness be restored unto you. Let fruitfulness be restored unto you. Let fruitfulness be restored unto you. Let fruitfulness be restored unto you in the name of Jesus. I pray for men too who are unable to, to father children. The problem is not just women. Men also are in the trouble. I command every sterility in you to disappear. I command every sterility in you Disappear and let every form of fruitfulness, let every form of fruitfulness, let every form of fruitfulness be restored to you now in the name of Jesus. Be a spiritual problem. I command that the power of God, which is above all the powers, which is above all principalities and authorities, let it solve your problem. Let it solve your problem. Let it solve your problem. Let it solve your problem in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for it is done. For it is done in the name of Jesus. I want to pray for those who are looking for jobs. We know that jobs are scarce. And at the same time, we know that jobs are available. And at the same time, we know that we need connections in order to have those jobs that are available. So if you are not connected, at times, jobs can just be slipping through you and you don't know. I want to pray by the special grace of God that from now, let there be open doors. 
Let there be open doors. Let there be open doors in your job. Let there be open doors. Let there be open doors in the name of Jesus. I pray for opportunities. Opportunities will not pass you by. I pray that you should be connected with the right people, with the right place, persons, that you'll be at the right places at the right time for information to flow. I pray that wherever you are, God will even open your minds, even your visions and your dream to tell you exactly what to do. Thank you, Father, because you are providing miracle jobs to your people. You are providing miracle jobs to your people. Miracle solutions to your people. I command it and let it be so. 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 In the name of Jesus. This is the opportune moment. This is the opportune moment. This is the opportune moment. And the Bible tells us that, and we will obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. We talk about in time of need, the Bible tells us about the opportune moment. What you need, that's where opportunity comes. So I pray that at your desperate position, that is the best moment that you will see the finger of God upon your life. I declare it and let it be so. I declare it and let it be so. I declare it and let it be so in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you because you are connecting your people to the right quarters. You are connecting your people to the right quarters. Good jobs will come their way. Good positions will come their way. They will no longer suffer because this is the opportune moment. You have sent for your word and we know that you are jealous to see that your word comes to pass because your word does not go out and doesn't return without accomplishing the, the purpose for which it was sent. I declare it and let it be so. Open doors in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray for all those who are in the job position that for over the years they have not received any increment in their salaries. They have not received any promotions. They have been stagnant, standing on the same position, and every day different opportunities are coming their way, different troubles are coming their way. Father, I pray for them that wherever they are, those who have gathered against them, Father, they shall not succeed in the name of Jesus. I pray that anyone holding your destiny, holding your destiny, holding your destiny, be released in the name of Jesus. Be promoted in the name of Jesus. Receive increments in the name of Jesus. You shall not remain the same. You shall not go backward. For whatever I speak over your life, receive it. Receive it. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Because I know that there are open doors available for your people. There are open doors available for your people for promotion, for increment. That in times like this where things seem to be hard, your people shall not shout a casting down. Your people shall shout there is a lifting up. People will come with testimony because of this moment. This moment that we have crisis all over the whole place. We have heard crisis. We have conflicts over the whole place. Your children shall not cry. They shall come back with testimony. This situation is only creating more opportunities for them to excel. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. I pray for those who have business places. I pray for them and I declare that no matter how small the business might be, it is you who give it worth and added no sorrow. From little, they shall excel. From little, they shall excel. God will provide unto you your customers, your customers, your customers in the name of Jesus. I don't care if it is cow box. I don't care if it's just granite you are selling. I don't care whatever thing that you are doing. I speak an increase over your life. I speak an increase over your life. I speak an increase over your life in the name of Jesus. Receive the power to make worth. Receive 
the power to make wealth. Thank you, Father. Your people shall not drink. Your people shall not weakness dryness in their lives. They shall increase. They shall increase. They shall increase. They shall increase. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. I want to pray for our children who are in school. I want to pray for our children who are in school. Beginning from nursery, beginning from pre-nursery to university. I want to pray for supernatural intelligence. I want to pray that their minds will not fail them. I want to pray that they will have good retentive memory. And whatever thing that they will study, it shall be of great help upon their lives. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Let them receive intelligence. Let them receive intelligence. Let them receive intelligence. Those who are running away from school, I speak and I declare that from now, the word of God will arrest them and put them in the path where it is good for them. 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 In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, our sons in Christ we have prayed. I want to take this moment and pray for people's spiritual lives. There are people who are weakness, dryness in their spiritual life. There are people who, are, who find it unnecessary, uh, unable to pray the way they used to pray. They don't find it, spiritual things in, 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 interesting any longer in their lives. I want to speak and I declare that from now, the word of God will be quick within you. The word of God will be sharp within you. You will cause a change within you and make your spiritual life receive revival. Receive revival. Receive revival in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for your children. Thank you, Lord Jesus, because they are increasing. Thank you, Lord Jesus, because their spiritual eyes are opening. Those who used to see visions and they no longer see visions now. I command the heavens to be open to them. I command the heavens to be open to them. I command the heavens to be open to them. That what they used to do before, they shall only increase. They shall not go backward. 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 Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for their spiritual life. Give them the opportunity to learn the word of God. Give them the opportunity and the grace to pray the way they ought to pray. Give them the opportunity to study the way they ought to study. Thank you, Father, for it is done in their lives in the name of Jesus. I pray and I declare that let there be a spiritual revival amongst your people. Let there be a spiritual revival amongst your people. Let there be a spiritual revival amongst your people. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, for it is done in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. I want to pray concerning the, the, the pandemic. This is the last prayer I want to make. There are talks up and down where we should take the COVID vaccine or not, and whatever that it is, I don't care if they will force you into it or whatever thing that will happen to you, I want to speak that the side effect of that drug will not have anything to do with you. It will not have anything to do with you. It will not have anything to do with you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, because your children are protected from such things. Your people are protected. They are protected. They are protected. They are protected. They are protected in the name of Jesus. Father, every evil, every disease, everything that does not have authority from the Bible, we cast it away. We cast the disease out. It will not find itself amongst us. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I pray for peace. Let there be peace. Let there be peace. Let there be peace. Let there be peace, there be peace. in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We have come to the end of our program today. We thank all of us who watched. And we believe that every day is getting better. Every day is getting better. You can call me after this. You can send your message after this. 
even during the rebroadcast, you can send. My lines are open for prayers. My lines are open for counseling. My lines are always open. Anytime you have a problem, use the number on your screen and call. We will pray together. We will talk together. We will encourage one another. Because spiritual growth is what I stand for. Unity is what I stand for. So we thank you that you're always there. Remember to, that this program comes up every Sunday. The In Christ Realities comes up every Sunday from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. And we have a rebroadcast on Monday, 5 a.m. And during the week, at times, the programs go on. So we expect a response from you. We want to thank everyone who worked hard for this program to go on there. Eh? We want to, to thank uh, Bro Fuzo, who is a technician. And we want to thank the boss of this station, Mr. Kwain Chamba, for the opportunity he has given to us and supervised this broadcast. So we thank you and we say, may God richly bless you. Stay tuned to CNTV. Thank you. Bye-bye. See you next week.